hello and welcome to a hopefully very quick update for the lip service project pen this month. You can see all the lip items I'm focusing on. Let's hop into the update. The first one is this MAC lip gloss and I did use it three times the last month. I am able to make a new mark. I did not do so yet. So you can see a little bit of a window between the last mark and the next upcoming mark basically and yeah free uses this kind of a jump is quite nice so i don't think i'm going to have an issue using this up which is my goal for the sleek lip shot lip gloss i used it five times no progress to see though i still don't know if this is an opaque packaging or not we will figure that out but yeah five uses no progress to show then the item I was focusing on, the Aster Lip Butter in Flirt Natural, I think was the color, which I cannot read anymore. And I did use this around 30 times the last month, obviously counting reapplications. I'm going to show you how far I'm at with this one now. This is how much I do have left. So not that much anymore, but I can tell you that I used up another Aster Lip Butter previously, I think two years ago, and there's a lot product in here as well, which I normally also use when using up lip items. I don't know if I'm going, to, I think I'm going to do so as well this year. I don't know 100% because my lip product collection got quite huge. So why not just top onto the next product, but we will see. I don't know yet. And maybe to visualize it a little better, I was able to make a new mark on the paper here and you can see it's a huge jump between the last markings and this one now. So further usage is quite a bit of product used up. The Sophie's lipstick in the number 310, I only used once, which is my goal with all of these items to use them at least once bunch <laughs> once each month uh, yeah no progress to show on this one obviously both of my mini size charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip products i used five times the last month so the lipstick looks like this now which means i was able to make a new mark and the lip liner I was also able to make a new mark and it does look like this. I don't know, I still am far away from the first writing, so I cannot tell you a comparison to last month, but I think I sharpened it once or twice within the last month. So for the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, you can see the markings here. I did flatten it out a little bit, and for the lip liner, I was able to keep going with my progress so far. I did try and focus on these two items as well last month, but obviously the Aster Lip Butter <laughs> I focused on most. The Manhattan Lip Liner in a clear version I only used once the last month and I don't have a progress to show with that one. The Colourpop Lip Sticks in the shade Lumiere I actually used four times since the last update, but I'm also not able to make uh, to show you any progress because I wore it quite sheer and didn't use much product. And then for the last two, I am using those together with each other almost all the time. I only used them once the last month. It's the Urban Decay Fuel lipstick, which looks like this. and the MAC Pink Plate lipstick, which looks like this. I'm kind of bored of those two lip items. I have to admit, uh, I kind of thinking about decluttering these. But anyway, for this year's project, they will stay in this project. And I want to still get some usage on these. Again, my goal will be to use each of them at least once within the next month. Again, focusing on the Aster Lip Butter to hopefully 
make a great jump again. And I think that's it for my focus items. <laughs> I think I'm just going to focus on the Astolip butter this time around. Yeah, that's already it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go check out the Fantastic Ladies because this is a Fantastic Ladies Collapse project pen. I am linking the Facebook group down in the description box for you to go to check out. And I'm also linking the creators of this project down there as well. So yeah, I hope you're doing fine and I wish you a very nice day. Bye.